Tenants United will never be defeated. Tenants United will never be defeated. I am the Director of Community Relations for our amazing State Senator, Julia Salazar, <laughs> who is a leader in fighting for tenants rights and has been for years. Um, and I want to say that this situation is outrageous. I'd say that there isn't a housing crisis in this city because there's so much housing. There's a housing inequality crisis in this city. This pandemic has shown how aggressive how heartless landlords have been when illegally harassing tenants. Now, it breaks my heart because I, as I do constituent services in the office, and I deal, the majority of the cases are housing cases. And it breaks my heart because earlier this year, there was this young single mother with two little girls who came to the office as I was helping her because her landlord increased her rent 50% and she already owed rent because something that no one controlled, the pandemic, affected her and her job so she couldn't work for months. And she broke down crying because she got an eviction notice, an illegal one at that, but the landlord was threatening her, illegally trying to kick her out. And this is the story of so many tenants. And I'm going to be really, really honest, if it wasn't for all the amazing organizations that are funded by the Anti-Harassment Tenant Protection Program. I don't know how our office could be as effective as it is. They are partners hand in hand with helping elected offices, with helping or all the organizations, making sure that tenants have an equalizer, because that is what legal support is. It's an equalizer in a fight that is very unfair when landlords have capital and the law on their side. So I want to thank all the organizations on behalf of the Senator for doing such an incredible job. And at this moment, we can't take a step back which is why this program needs to be funded and more, but it needs to be at minimally funded and not cut. En español, un momentito. Es imperativo que este programa tenga los fondos necesarios porque no podemos tomar un paso atrás en la lucha para los derechos de los inquilinos. Esta pandemia ha visto como los dueños han tratado ilegalmente a sacar a familias de sus hogares y eso es inmoral. Porque el alojamiento es un derecho fundamental. Porque nada en la vida es tan importante como el alojamiento. Porque todo es afectado. Así que vamos a seguir la lucha. Hay que tener los fondos para este programa. Hay que luchar para la legislación. En uh, inglés, real quick, just to say what I said. Housing is such a core part of a human life, of a human being. Because with housing, without housing, everything else is affected. A child cannot properly succeed in school without proper housing. An adult can't go to work and maintain a job if they cannot pay for their housing, if they are housing insecure. So this is a holistic approach to this program funds and all these wonderful organizations. Now housing is a human right, it's not just a slogan, but it's a call to action. And we're going to continue fighting, the center is going to continue fighting, and all money for legislation such as good cause eviction, so we end these unjust evictions and actions by landlords. Thank you very much. Thank you for all the organizers. You have all been amazing. Thank you.